Hello there, retirement can be exciting in Portugal or Italy, choose wisely as one is more affordable, it's tough to pick between the two, but we're here to help, learn the basics before deciding. But first, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Be sure to check out our other videos for more information about Portugal. Retire in Portugal or Italy. Why do expats choose them? In old age, peace and climate matter most. Retirees favor Portugal and Italy for their warm weather and quality healthcare. Both cultures value relationships and gathering for meals. Portugal and Italy provide a peaceful and slow-paced life for those looking to immigrate. Portugal versus Italy for expats about living in Portugal. Portugal is an ideal destination for expats, offering more than just beautiful weather and beaches. Excellent international schools and universities are available for retirees with children still completing their education. Expats from other European countries or even the US are astonished at how cheap food is. Even 10 euro goes a long way in Portugal. Everything is very affordable, especially for foreigners. About living in Italy. Italy is the perfect embodiment of the famous phrase La Dolce Vita. Life is generally cheaper compared to most European counties, although still more expensive than in Portugal. Outside the big cities, services like transport and internet connections are affordable. Living in Rome costs 50% more than small rural towns in Italy. The population of Italy is welcoming to visitors, and you'll find integrating with the local community easier. Both countries have charm, and it's okay to love them both whether you retire in Portugal or Italy. Differences between the countries. Portugal is ranked the fourth safest country to live in by the Global Peace Index 2021, while Italy is ranked at 32. Safety is an added benefit for older people in a worry-free environment. The cuisines are pretty similar, except for the fact that the Portuguese love fish and rice more while Italians love pasta. Cost of living in each country. Check out the table below for some estimated figures that'll help you compare. Taxes. Portugal has a tax treaty with most countries, so you won't pay taxes twice. The standard income tax range is between 14% to 48%, but expats can benefit from 10 years of tax benefits under the non-habitual resident tax regime, which allows keeping every cent earned outside of Portugal. However, employed and self-employed expats are subject to a standard 20% flat rate tax. In Italy, tax returns are due by September 30th of the preceding year. There are three types of taxes for employees, national income tax, 23% to 43%, regional income tax, 1.23% to 3.33%, and municipality income tax, 0% to 0.8% depending on residents. Pensioners in small municipalities pay a flat 7% tax rate. Italy has tax treaties with most countries to reduce the risk of double taxation. Labor market in Portugal and Italy. Portugal's unemployment rate is 5.7%, and Italy's is 8.1%. The Portuguese economy relies heavily on manufacturing and tourism, creating limited opportunities for expats. However, Lisbon and other cities have a growing number of startups and businesses. Speaking Italian is an advantage for certain job fields in Italy, but finding English-speaking jobs is possible, especially in tourism and education. Transport Public transportation in Portugal is efficient with many modes available, including trains, buses, metro, and taxis. The Comboios de Portugal connects inland towns in the north and south with affordable ticket prices and discounts. Buses operate on different routes, and there are two subway systems in Porto and Lisbon with affordable tickets and daily to monthly plans. Italy has an efficient train system with high-speed Frecciarossa trains traveling at 300 km per hour. There are four metros in Turin, Milan, Rome, and Naples, with different ticket prices and validity periods. Buses provide transport between and within cities, but availability may be limited on Sundays and public holidays. Climate. When compared to some countries in the EU, then both Portugal and Italy have fair weather all year round. However, Portugal has the best weather in Europe, hands down. The country experiences mild winters and longer sunny hours than any other country in Europe. Southern Italy enjoys a Mediterranean climate while cities like Milan and Venice experience extreme climates, especially during the winter. Security. Portugal has low crime rates, but pickpocketing in some areas like beaches is possible. Italy is similar to Portugal, but notorious for organized crime groups and mafias. Personal safety is advised in both countries. Entertainment. Italy and Portugal share a love for football and offer various entertainment options such as luxury driving experiences on tracks. Hiking, nightclubs, bars, casinos, golf, great food, and street entertainment. There's never a dull moment in either country. How to get a visa in each country. Obtaining a visa to live in Portugal. 
To retire in Portugal on passive income, apply for the D7 visa. You'll need valid insurance and proof of funds for relocation, living expenses, and accommodation. Submit the application to the nearest Portuguese consulate. How to get a visa in Italy? Non-EU residents need a Type D long-term visa to relocate to Italy. Self-sufficient retirees typically apply for the elective residency visa. Visit the immigration portal for visa requirements and the nearest Italian consulate for guidance. Bottom line, should I retire in Portugal or Italy? There you have it, a breakdown of what to expect if you're considering to retire in Portugal or Italy to live your twilight years. The choice of exactly which country you pick is entirely up to you. Consider relocating to Portugal with the help of Viv Europe's professionals for a smooth process. Join All About Portugal for Expat's Facebook group and interact with people who retired in Portugal in their 60s and are now enjoying life.